right, so this is a tutorial on how to get um, Project 64 with NetPlay. Um, the other day, I had some, I was streaming some Mario Party just by myself, um, and a friend came into my stream, and she was like, hey, Driz, can I play? And I said, sure, and I tried to explain how to do this all. She couldn't get it. Another guy couldn't get it. It was all really annoying. They kind of quit. Um, so I'm making this tutorial, I guess, mostly for them. Um, but I figure other people might find it helpful too. So I'll provide the links down below. But basically, <clears throat> what you go, where you'll go, is this 64 Hacks forum. Um, close out of that. Uh, and what you do, this basically kind of runs you through how to set everything up. Um, I still feel like my friends will need a tutorial, so hence why I'm still making this video. But basically you want to scroll down to the download section, click the newest stable version from 2012, download that zip file. Um, I have my zip, all my downloads go to a downloads folder so we'll wait for that to download open up the zip and then what you want to do well what I do anyways because I like to stay a little bit organized um, is I have a storage drive I have a folder called games double click that and you want to down you want to um, go back to the zip and drag and drop this to wherever you want to install it close the zip open a project 64 you'll see this here, you'll open it up you'll get an error prompt like the controller, it might be controller, it might be audio, it might be graphics it's really all random I guess click OK you want to click options go to settings and whichever one is blank you click that, click OK click no um, I'm just clicking no just for right now and then whenever you open it up you shouldn't get that error prompt anymore <clears throat> that's just asking you to configure a controller now the problem that I had with this default plugin is when you go to configure your controller you click assign keys whenever you try to do the C button it won't work no matter what I could never get it to work um, and what I found out is you have to have um, a different plugin to use a different plugin. So if you notice, when you open up the Project 64 folder, you'll see this plugin folder, this ROM folder. We want the plugins folder for now. So open that up, minimize it, um, go here to this Emulation 64 um, FR. It's in French. Um, but basically, what we want is to scroll down click this download it'll it's just another different plugin open up that zip folder minimize this let's put this to the side um, we'll go back to this go to the plugins what we want is this one that says DLL at the end drag and drop that into there <laughs> okay and now when you reopen project 64 what you want to do is go to oh no not there go to options settings and click this one click OK and you'll see when you go to configure the controller it's different okay now I like to use a GameCube controller um, I think my friend was trying to use a PlayStation 4 controller um, so close out of Project 64 um, what I like to use on my PC for my PlayStation 4 controller is this program DS4 Windows um, this is how you can use it but I'll kinda show you how to do it um, so what you'll do is you will click download now download the latest version wait for that to download open up that zip folder and again since I kinda like to stay organized 
I'll go back to my storage drive and I'll go to a folder that says programs BS4 Windows we'll just make a new folder open that up and drag and drop those two um, I guess applications into the folder open up DS4 Windows and you'll get this so step one pretty simple install the DS4 driver boom it's installed if you want to use um, a wired connection just plug it in and click finish close the close the program open it up and it should recognize your controller I like to use Bluetooth um, so what, like it says you want to hold the PlayStation button and the share button until this little bar lights up so we'll push those now you'll see it flash once you see it flash you go to Bluetooth settings wait for this to recognize the controller mine takes a while for whatever reason Go, let's go. So you'll see wireless controller ready to pair. Click pair. And there you go, connected. Again, if you get asked the code, I've never get um, asked for a code, but it's 0000. Click finish, close the program, open it up again. And then you'll see under the controllers, um, it should be here. So I have a profile, um, so basically, it's just the default one, I just renamed it PS4, but what you do is you'll open this, double click, um, you want to make sure that the input is off, um, I just kind of left everything the same, the only thing I changed is to pulse at 10%, so that's basically when the controller is at 10%, you'll see it start pulsing red instead of blue. Um, close this you want to minimize this and then what you do to use your PlayStation 4 controller in the emulator is you go to project 64 K project 64 open up the emulator go to configure controller plugin and let's see let's clear this one so now that it's blank what you want to do is go to the devices um, I have the dead zone to set up just the controller is go to 100% and what you want is you'll see wireless controller or Xbox 360 for Windows you want to click that one so click that go back to the controls and then you'll see um, and then you just start assigning the controller so press up click you press up left left right right down and then you just start setting up the controllers the buttons I mean so start A we'll put X we'll put the square for the B button L1 for the right and left R1 for the right Z I guess L2 we'll use the right analog stick for the C buttons go down the analog stick will do the left stick left right down and then you want to go back to the devices and set this to zero and then just click save <clears throat> and then you should notice that um, whenever you start a game you should be able to use the controls now to get Netplay to work, you and your friends have to have the exact same ROM. Um, so you see, we have no ROMs. This might say you have ROMs. Just click a uh, refresh ROM list. This should go away. Um, and so to get Project 64 to to get Netplay to work, you have to set the ROM directory. So choose ROM directory, and basically you scroll down to where your Project 64 um, a folder is so I have it in games project 64 and then you select the ROM folder and then from here whatever ROMs you download um, you'll put into that folder so let's open this 
so I already have these pre-downloaded because I I'm basically reinstalling project 64 for this so again go to ROMs drag and drop your ROMs into here um, and I guess I'll restore my saves too so Okay, so now to get Netplay to work, what you want to do, again, is just open Project 64K, and then if you don't see your ROMs there, just refresh list, and they should appear. Um, what you want to do is go to File, Start Netplay. You see it has all these I don't know servers already your nickname enter your the username here like it says I just like to go with Driz or Drizzle quit message whatever you want to make sure this is at LAN um, and then what I do I'll delete these one at a time um, but basically go to master server list and you typically want the one with the least amount of ping so for me that's either the Seattle one just because I'm based in Portland um, my other friend she lives in California so we'll probably use that one you just double click it you'll see that you connected and then from here you'll go to create go to Mario Party um, I don't have a friend right now I don't know what they're doing uh, but the, they'll typically join the server you click start once everybody that's going to play joins click start and then this should appear and then hopefully this controller works I don't know I set it in port 3 so it might not work yeah it's not working but basically you'll let me get my game controller in the mix Basically, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.